Good morning students. Welcome to the second video of solving additional mathematics paper 1, 4037, uh, variation 12 May June 2018. In my last video I have done up to question number 5. Today I am going to do from question number 6. Now the question number 6 says that find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve. This, this is a uh, rational graph. So we need to find out a stationary point of this curve okay coordinates of that uh, stationary point so dy dx should be i'm going to do it i can do it in the product rule but uh, i'm going to do this one in a quotient rule right now so it's 2x minus 1 whole square and on the top it's going to be 2x minus 1 ddx of this one on the top x plus 2 then minus i'm going to keep x plus 2 and differentiate this uh, let me write down it this form square root 2 means power half dx okay it's gonna be easy for me to calculate so this gonna cross out on the denominator I have 2x minus 1 and over here 2x minus 1 and if I differentiate that it's gonna be 1 and minus x plus 2 if I differentiate that I'll have half then 2x minus 1, half minus 1, and if I differentiate inside that bracket, it's going to be 2. So, this 2, this 2 cross out. Okay, so I'm going to get below here 2x minus 1, and this is going to be 2x minus 1, minus on the top, is going to be x plus 2, but see that 2x minus 1 to the power half minus 1. Half minus 1 is minus half. That means it's going to be below here 2x minus 1. Now, if I do the LCM, okay, there is a 1. LCM of 1 and that is going to be that number itself. So, 2x minus 1. And on the top, 2x min minus 1 whole square. Okay, and this minus this one, x plus 2. And in the denominator, I have 2x minus 1. Sorry for the mess. I'm going to give some more space over here. So there is 1. Now, over here, I can write down 2x minus 1. And that, that cross out 2x minus 1. And when I take the bracket off, minus x minus 2 times 1 going to go up there. And below here, 2x minus 1. So I cannot cross anything out. So it's going to be 2x minus x is x minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 and this one I'm gonna have see that power half and see that power half let's say a to the power power half times a to the power 1 so if we add that it's gonna be 3 by 2 so instead of that I can write down 3 by 2 so that's done differentiation now that's not the question question says stationary point of the curve now at stationary point we know that dy dx equal to 0. So dy dx is this x minus 3 and that's going to be 2x minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 equal to 0. Now take this one to that side. Therefore x minus 3 equal to 0. This times multiplied this equal to 0. Therefore x equal to 3. I got x coordinates of the stationary point. Okay, now I have to find out why because stationary point the coordinates the coordinates of the stationary point point over here and x we got it x is 3 now i need to find out why okay now let's let's go back to the our original uh, equation y equal to y equal to x plus 2 divided by 2x minus 1. See that? x plus 2 over square root 2x minus 1. I wrote down that. And I got the value of x to be 3. So I'm going to replace x by 3. 3 plus 2. And over here, 3 to the 6 minus 1, that's 5. So it's going to be 5 root 5. Now that can be written as square root 5 in the numerator square root 5 square root 5 square root 5 that means actually 5 square root 5 crossing out so square root 5 so this point is going to be square root 5 so this is the 
coordinates of the stationary point of this curve okay so the question number six is done question number seven now question number seven says a population of b a particular bacterium b is a particular bacterium t hours after uh, measurements begin okay it is given by this b equal to 1000 e to the power t by 4 i don't know if you can see that or not t by 4 okay find the value of b when t equal to 0 so let's put b equal to 1000 e to the power t by 4 so b when t equal to 0 it's given okay so what happened it's going to be 1000 e to the power 0 by 4. That means 0 by 4 means 0. So 1000 times e to the power 0. e to the power 0 means 1. So that's going to be 1000. Okay. So that's my answer. Now find the time taken for B to be double in size. Okay. Now initially at t equal to 0, it was 1000. Now it's saying when it's double. So 2 times 1000. And we have 1000 e to the power t by 4. When it's double, we need to find out t. That's what it says, time. So 1000 cross out, I have 2. So this, since I have e, I can take ln on both sides. ln e to the power t by 4. So that comes, that comes t by 4. And ln e means nothing but 1, ln 2. So this comes over here, therefore, th th this equals to 1. Okay, so we don't need that. So 4 comes over here, so t equal to 4, ln 2. Either you can do it this way, or you can calculate the value of t by this. 4, ln 2, it's supposed to be uh, correct to three significant figures, 2.77 second. Okay, you can keep it this way or that way. All right. Now it says that find the value of B when T equal to 8. So this is pretty straightforward math. B equal to 1000 E to the power T by 4. Okay, now it says when T equal to 8. So 1000 E to the power 8 by 4, that means 2. So 1000 E to the power 2. Uh, you can simply put that value in the calculator. That's why it's very simple. Uh, hardly going to make any mistake on this one. E square. So I got it's a 7389.056099. These are the calculator value. But to give you in three significant figures, it's 37390. Okay. So that's my final answer. Okay. Now let's go for question number eight. Solve 3 uh, cos square theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 4 for theta to be greater than 0 but less than 180. So this one I have cos square and sine. I need to change to something uniformly. Okay, both terms should have some uniform uh, trigonometric ratio. Uh, either both of them going to be cos or both of them going to be sine. Now we know that trigonometric identities sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So if I change this cos square, that's going to be a lot easier. 3. Instead of cos square, I can write down 1 minus sine square. So 1 minus sine square theta. Then I have plus 4 sine sine theta equal to 4. So take the bracket of 3 minus 3 sine square theta plus 4 sine theta equal to 4. Now, if I'm taking everything to this side, it's going to be uh, 3 sine square theta and 4 sine theta going to be minus 4 sine theta and 3 going to be minus 3. 4 minus 3 is going to be plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, I can do this 4 ones are 4. Uh, actually, 3 ones are 3. 3 sine square theta minus 3 sine theta minus sine theta plus 1 equal to 0. Taking from here 3 sine theta, 3 sine theta common. So I'm going to have here sine theta minus 1 
and from this to take minus 1 common sine theta minus 1 equal to 0 so here is going to be sine theta minus 1 3 sine theta minus 1 equal to 0 so in this case therefore sine theta minus 1 equal to 0 or sine theta equal to 1 okay so i'm gonna use this calculator it's in degree i i have in degree so sine inverse uh one is gonna give me theta equal to 90 degree okay where else is uh, sine one okay there is no other place see that only one place i have sine equal to one okay 90 so that's the that and over here 3 sine theta minus 1 equal to 0. So sine theta equal to 1 by 3. Okay. So sine inverse is going to be 1 by 3. I got 90. Theta, I got 19.5 correct to 1 decimal place. Okay. And then this is in the first quadrant. Okay. That's the first quadrant. I got it. Now sine is positive in another quadrant. That's in the second quadrant right over here. And that's going to be 180, 180 minus theta. So 180 minus whatever I got is going to be 160.5 degree. So my answer, final answer would be 19.5, 90 degree and 160.5 degree. So that's that. Okay. Now next one is a sign. 2 phi equal to square root 3 cos 2 phi and it has to be from negative uh, pi by 2 to positive pi by 2 so if i bring this one this side it's going to be 10 2 phi equal to square root 2 then 2 phi if i take 10 inverse so 10 inverse square root 2 i'm gonna have that but i want that in the see that it's in radian I need to change that to radiant okay so it's gonna be 10 10 inverse square root 2 I got that one uh, oh, I'm sorry it's a square root 3 this is a square root 3 sorry so <laughs> that that was wrong okay square root 3 so I got pi by 3 that's pi by 3 okay now don't change that one so this is positive now 10 is positive is <coughs> excuse me 10 is positive in the first quadrant and another one is the third quadrant and then this this one is going to be this 180 or pi plus theta pi plus theta so if i add that pi plus theta that means pi by 3 is going to be 3 and 1 4 pi by 3 okay so that's that's one and another one is negative right so negative is going to be if i have this theta over here see that in negative okay <clears throat> okay now for the minus we can go from uh use this from here negative pi then we come back to that one so it's going to be negative pi then plus pi by 3 that one and another one is let, let me actually draw this over here okay so this thing over here and to get this thing we're gonna go all the way over here minus 2 pi then plus that so minus 2 pi plus pi by 3 let's see what i got i got pi by 3 then i got 4 pi by 3 and over here minus 2 pi so minus pi by 3 and then minus 3 minus 2 pi by 3 and this one is going to be minus 2 so minus 6 minus 5 pi by 3 i have 2 phi so phi i need to divide all of this by 2 so it's going to be pi by 3 times 2 is 6 over here 2 and this cross out 2 pi by 3 and over here when i multiply this 2 so 2 to cancel out is going to be minus pi by 3 and over here on the top i have minus 
5 pi and over here is gonna be 6 so this is what I got now what this pi by 2 means pi by 2 in decimal is gonna give me 1.57 okay so that's minus 1.57 to 1.57 let's let's put it this way okay now pi by 6 pi by 6 it's gonna be 0 0.52 so this is okay and 2 pi divided by 3 that's gonna be 2.09 so this is not okay minus pi divided by 3 that's minus 1.045 so this is okay and over here minus 5 pi divided by 6 and this is beyond that so this is not okay so answer is answer is minus pi by 3 and pi by 6 that now this probably a uh, very complicated to you i want to use a very simple concept i hope you're gonna like that and that is by the formula i'm gonna write down this formula uh, pi n plus pv for tan theta in this case tan phi okay so 2 phi okay for that one when n equal to n equal to uh, minus 2 okay when n equal to minus 2 so minus 2 pi and pv pv means primary value or the calculated value and i got this one pi by 3 plus pi by 3 so I got over here uh, when minus 2 that's minus 5 by 3 pi when it's minus minus 1 so it's gonna be minus pi plus pi by 3 so I got minus 2 by 3 pi when it's 0 so this is 0, I got pi by 3, and when it's 1, I got uh, pi plus pi by 3, so that's going to be 4 by 3 pi. I'm running out of the space, I know that it doesn't go anymore. So phi, so divided by 2, that's going to be minus 5 by 6 pi, and over here is going to be minus pi by 3 and this is going to be pi by 6 and this is going to be 2 pi by 3 okay that's that's actually a lot easier if you use this formula to get this okay all right i hope you understand that i have a video on this it says that solving all those stubborn um, trigonometric function i hope you can see that and enjoy that and uh, you can save a lot of times okay question number nine solve log x equal to three this is very simple this is common logarithm that means x equal to uh, base of this is 10 to the power three is going to be 1000 okay so that's done one mark done write log a uh, minus two log b plus three as a single logarithm so LGA minus that LGB that can be written as square and plus this 3 I need to put it in log we know that log 10 that means 1 or log A base A equal to 1 if the number and the base is same then it's always 1 so it's 3 all these two are a common logarithm so I'm going to put LG 10 so LGA minus LG uh, common logarithm b square plus that's going to be lg 10 to the power 3 so another formula we know when uh, it's minus then actually divide when it's plus then it's multiplied so lg this is 1000 a and this is divided by that so this is in the single logarithm so that's done this is my answer okay and this is going to be my solve x equal to minus 5 plus 6 over x equal to 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the LCM x. So it's going to be x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Taking this x over here. So x times 0 is 0. And middle term break, uh, 6 1s are 6. So x squared minus 6x 
plus x well it doesn't actually work three twos i have to go for three twos uh three and this is gonna be two x plus six equal to zero so if i take x x minus three minus two x minus three equal to zero so i have x minus three x minus two equal to zero solve therefore x equal to two and three <clears throat> so that's my final answer hence showing all your working find the values of a such that this 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 equal to zero so let me write down log lo, log a base four minus five plus six log four a equal to zero always compare okay when you have something like this compare i can see that uh, log a base 4 and then 5 is over here then 6 and something over here so if i change this one uh, to log base 4 then probably i can do something so log a base 4 minus 5 plus 6 to change that one i hope you know how to change the uh, base of a logarithm if it's log a base b if you don't want b if you want the base to be c then numerator and denominator put log with the new base you want and on the top the number and in the denominator the old base okay so that's one of the formula and another formula is if you want to keep the same uh, base of the number then a by a is gonna be one and over here log a and old base like that okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put four over here so that's gonna be one and down below here would be log a base 4 equal to 0. Now watch this. These are this equals. So let, let log a base 4 equal to x. So this is going to be x minus 5 plus 6 by x equal to 0. It does look, it does look exactly the same of this given uh, uh yeah equation in f b1 so that we have solved this x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 you can write down from b1 okay you don't need to do that because they already say hence hence means you always have to use the previous answer to carry out your work over here now x was log a base 4 equal to 2 therefore a equal to 4 squared that means 16 and over here log a base 4 equal to 3 so a equal to 4 to the power 3 equal to 64 so answer over here a equal to 16 and 64 okay so that's done okay uh, i i like to do the rest of the sum in my second video thank you for watching and see you in next video take care have a good day